Well, it is. It's it's uh, it's hard. A short amount of time. The preseason is very very condensed. You know, we have new guys to, to get up to speed. You know, we're not only evaluating them, but we're really teaching them a lot about the game, about the way we play, what we expect, um, what our culture's like. There's so many lessons for them to learn. Uh, we're cramped coaching. Again, they're young, so there are days where they're overwhelmed with everything that we're talking about. But we've tried to take it slowly. Um, as coaches, one of the things we've talked about going into it is we want to be really patient with these guys. We don't want to um, throw too much at them at once. We want to slowly build on things. And, you know, it's part classroom or locker room, as I call. So a lot of that teaching occurs in the locker room. The messages we give them, uh, uh, tactics on the board, and, and just using examples, past teams. Uh, we like to watch tape with pro teams as well, just to give them a picture there. Um, and then it's in in training. Again, reinforcing our style, uh, working on our systems. We do a lot of stuff in training in our system, in our shape, so they get used to their roles start to get chemistry with each other um, and, and that's a great opportunity as well for me in training to guide them when it's good when it's not good you know that's I'm real hands-on in training the games I'm hands-off in the training I'm hands-on I paint a picture of what it's about what's good what's not good what the standards should be um, and providing that you know those kind of boundaries for them to figure it out our players as well. The upperclassmen, the captains are a big part of that also. When you have a good culture, as much as I'm leading and teaching, the captains are doing it as well. The players that have been here are doing it as well. Um, they know what it's about. And they have as much of an influence on those players as I do. So it takes time. you got to let, let it happen slowly. Um, there are days where you think you got it really figured out and guys getting it and the next day they seem like they don't so that's a part of it and again I want to stress it's going to take time we're going to go into every game trying to win every game um, and take it one at a time but this team has a good perspective that we want to really be the team at the end of the year that's playing our best soccer you know, we're not going to be the finished product at the beginning of the year Take time. It's going to take every single game. 19 regular season games. Hopefully two conference tournament games. And then now is the real season. We prepare, uh, you know, to be playing our best at the end of the year, not the beginning of the year. We use every game, every practice, to challenge ourselves to get better, to grow, to reach our potential, so that we are ready to be a realistic contender to win the national championship. And I think with this team, unlike a couple of the other teams we've had the last several years, I think this team is going to need the entire season. Uh, right now, based on five practices, we'll probably be having six new players in the starting lineup. It could be five, you know, five or six right now. Um, I don't think it'll be any less than five. So, uh, and these guys are good. They're experienced beyond their years. They're talented. They played at a high level, um, but they're young. 18 years old, 19 years old, and their ability to sustain the focus mentally, uh, to sustain the, the work rate that we require physically, um, to be able to think intelligently, tactically, for 90 minutes is, is unrealistic to expect them to be able to do that. So it's going to take time for them to, to build those, those habits.